Welcome to the third tutorial on using SCM's Cosmo RS program. Now this tutorial begins where tutorial 2 left off and we're just going to open that file and save it as tutorial 3, give it a new name. And all the numbers should be right from last time so we'll go ahead and start calculating properties. First we'll calculate the vapor pressure of methanol from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. It asks us to save it before we run it, and we do. And there are the results. Now the graph on the right is fairly easy to manipulate. We'll change the title here to something more descriptive. And we can change the pressure units to whatever we want. Lots of things that we can vary here. Show the data points. There you see the results. Now we're going to calculate a boiling point. This time instead of for a pure solvent, we'll do a mixture. 50-50 mixture of methanol and ethanol. So we're going to set our fractions to 0.5 for each one. And we're going to vary our pressure from a tenth of an atmosphere up to a full atmosphere. Typing that in here, lower number first. And go ahead and run this one as well. This calculation takes a little bit longer, more complicated than the first one we wrote, so we'll step away for a few seconds here, about a minute and a half. And once it's done, the results are shown on the right. And you can see what each one of these, the curves mean in the graph. Moving along to our next property, log partition coefficients. This time we'll do benzene and water. Entering some parameters here. We run this one. The results this time are in table form on the right. Next property is activity coefficients. Here we'll just do water as an example. All default parameters. There are the results. Four different solutes dissolved in water. Here we're going to do a solubility calculation. Benzene in water. And we can vary the temperature here. 273 up to 373 Kelvin. Save this one and run it. There are the results on the right. And if we want, we can switch it around, exchange solvents and solute, solutes. And this time, the solubility of water in benzene will be displayed on the right. Now the next few calculations are going to be vapor liquid equilibrium calculations. Here we'll be calculating water and methanol. And there are the results for the various mole fractions. detailed look here. Now we're going to add some empirical parameters for water. We happen to know the vapor pressure at a particular temperature. 
and we can use this to aid in our modeling. And we'll do the same thing with ethanol has a higher vapor pressure at the same temperature. Let's see what it is here. And same temperature for that one. And I want to run this calculation at that temperature. choose what I want to graph. And I've actually started running it with water and methanol. I meant to do water and ethanol. But the calculation completes very quickly so it's easy to go back and correct that mistake. Run it this time with water and ethanol as we intended. And there are the results on the right. Of course, we can quickly change things around in the graph to display what we want. Now we're going to do one final calculation, resetting these numbers back to zero. And this time changing from isotherm to isobar. And we're going to do a calculation on methanol and ethanol, just to get a little variety here. And changing the things we want to display on the graph, saving it and running it. It's another longer calculation, but longer in this case only means about 100 seconds. And there are the results on the right. All right, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.